host said no to Thomas's proposal. Did we see that coming or did we see that coming? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chesley for the Bottom Beautiful March 18, 2024. Okay, so look here. I was on the edge of my seat. I'm like, okay, spit it out. Either you're going to say yes or you're going to say no. I said, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. She took the ring out of his hand. I said, she about to say yes. Long story short, she did not say yes. Steffi believes that Hope is stringing Thomas along. And I said, look, I feel like they both was in the wrong. She wrong for rocking that doggone necklace knowing you knew that at first, before. She told me, I I just got out of a marriage and all that. You knew that at first before you started fooling around with him. Matter of fact, you knew you was in a marriage when you kissed him in Rome. So what you talking about? But okay, I guess we're going to start there. So Thomas is down on his knees proposing to her, asking her if she's going to accept his proposal, be his wife. Let's do this. Let's do that. And, I, and the look on her face. I'm like, okay, I can't tell. She's going to say yes or she's going to say no. So she takes the ring out his hand. She's talking about some, I love you. I said, I think that's the first time I heard her. I, I know she said before that she loved this and that about him, but I think that's the first time I heard her say she loves him. I think when Liam came over that day, she was like, and I love that about him. But yeah, she finally said she loved him. She ain't said she was in love with him still. She said, I love you, but I can't accept your proposal. I'm not ready. Just like on Friday's review, I said that. I said, he, she just told you that she wasn't ready. So you wrong. She wrong because she kind of was leading you on. She kind of was. But at the same time, she told you what it was. She not only told you that she just got out of marriage and all that stuff. She don't know if she ready to fully commit. She don't know if she would ever love him the same way. So you knew what it was. I guess he thought if he showed her, like, look, it's only you for me. Or whatever, she would choose him. She would choose him. I said he was wrong also because he took the ring off her necklace. Tell my son, I know you said you needed time and you wasn't ready, but I think you are. You are. I'm ready. I'm tired of waiting and all that. I said, don't do it. I said, the abort mission. And he did not abort mission. <laughs> Look, he was so upset. He left. First, he tried to get close to him. He pushed, like, he pushed away from her or whatever and ran out the doggone room. Then ran in the office to Seth. I said, here we go. Now, I had, I had read the spoilers or whatever, and it said on the spoilers. I was trying to remember, y'all. It said it was going to be a falling out, but I thought she was going to say yes, and people going to think that, you know, it was too soon. But then again, Ridge already knew. Brooke already knew. Steffi, I thought Steffi didn't know, but apparently she did know. So it's supposed to be a falling out. So spoiler alert, I should have said that first, huh? Spoiler alert, it's supposed to be a falling out between the Logans and the Foresters because of the answer that Hope gave to So she said no. So they about to be mad that she said no. Steffi's supposed to confront her, but Hope's supposed to defend herself. Liam and Carter's supposed to be talking about Thomas and how he's changed. Carter's supposed to be speaking up for, for uh Thomas. While Hope and Tom is talking, Steffi and Liam talking, he's, he's going to use Kelly as an excuse or something about Kelly as an excuse to come talk to her. They started talking about uh, Finn and Sheila, whatever. And she was like, I don't want to talk about Finn. I'm not worried about our relationship. We are fine and all that other stuff. I want, I'm more worried about Thomas and Hope. Basically, Thomas and Hope. Now, let me correct that. She says she's worried about Thomas because of Hope. She believes that this girl been leading him on. I said, technically, you're right, and technically, you're wrong, because they both walked into it knowing what it was. He, I, Look, I was, I was kind of shocked. I feel like he honestly thought, like, okay, I'm showing her that I could be the man for her and all this, and then she's going to appreciate it, but it don't work like that, unfortunately. But by the end of the episode, when he was telling Steffi what happened, she was like, okay, now you see, you need to leave her alone. She's bad news. She's trouble and all that. How is it that, correct me if I'm wrong, because... <laughs> How is she bad news? I don't understand. Like, I get what she's saying because this whole situation and the fact that he was obsessed with her. I get that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about they've been had this feud going on for the longest because of Liam. Why doesn't she feel this way towards Liam? Why? She talking about, then, what did she say? She said something about hope play with Liam's feelings, like she doing Thomas, and she broke up with you, and yada, yada, yada. And I said, you forgetting what we did? Like, yeah, that was crazy because you got caught cheating. How you mad at him because he don't want to forgive you or whatever? But then we got, who we going to talk about next? I guess we could just summarize them together. Finn, Poppy, Luna, Bill. So Bill was basically just being there for Luna, offering her a shoulder. He kept on saying how he's not her father, but he can listen to her. And he's trying to let her see or make her see, you know, your mama did what she thought was best. And maybe it's something you don't know. And we still didn't get no answers from Poppy. She over here to my son. I was hoping that you could talk to her. He kept saying, you know, what does that have to do with me? I thought she about to say, you know, Jack, it's your father. He's also her father. Something, they brothers and sisters. Something. She ain't said nothing. So Finn, when she was asking that, he asked her if she knows who Luna's father is. She's still not saying anything. She's not saying anything. Instead, she's just saying how she want him to be the male president in Luna's life. All the while, Bill already becoming the male president. He's already talking to her. 
So then Finn ended up telling her he think it's time too that Luna knows. I said, right, you can't keep this secret for much longer. Well, yeah, that's all that happened. Y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more reviews. Until next time, deuces. Have a great rest of the day. Be safe.